Now that you are familiar with key building blocks of Calm, it's time to see how you can use Frasa Pro to start building your own custom conversational AI assistant powered by Calm. Frasa Pro extends Frasa open source and adds all of the capabilities of Calm, Frasa's conversational AI with language models. In this episode, we're going to look at how you can configure your development environment and how you can get started with building your own custom conversational AI assistant. All of the instructions that we are going to cover in this video are also available on Rasa Pro documentation. So make sure to check out the documentation to make sure that you are always using the most up-to-date instructions. All right, so let's get started. Configuring your development environment and installing Rasa Pro on your machine is a quick process that will take a few steps. The first step is configuring your Python environment. At the time of making this video, Rasa supports a few specific Python versions, Python 3.8, 3.9, and 3.10. So you have to make sure that you have at least one of these versions of Python installed on your machine. You can quickly check that by using the command Python version. So for example, you will see that I will be using the Python version 3.9. In a situation where you don't have Python installed on your machine, or if you have the version that doesn't mean the provided requirements, you can update your Python installation using the provided instructions on Rasa's documentation. You will find the instructions for macOS, Ubuntu, and Windows. It is highly recommended to use virtual environments to isolate your Python projects. This will make sure that any dependencies that you're going to install will be project specific and will not cause conflicts with other dependencies that are installed system wide. So the next step is to create Python virtual environment and activate it. Before doing that, I will create a project directory for my assistant and I will refer to this directory as a project directory throughout this video. My project directory will be called Rasa Calm Demo. And now I'm going to create the virtual environment for my project. Now that it is created, I'm going to activate it. Perfect. Now we are ready to move on to the next steps. Under the hood, Rasa Pro contains Python package called Rasa Plus, which you can install locally either using pip, Python package manager, or Poetry, a tool which makes it much easier to build, manage, and publish packages in a simple way. The instructions for both options are available on the documentation and only include some simple configurations. For example, if you decide to use pip, you will simply have to edit pipconf and provide the following configurations. You can find the instructions on how to find the pip.com file on your machine by following the instructions on the Rasa's documentation. Once you do the configuration, you can simply install Rasa Plus using the pip install command. It's very similar if you decide to use Poetry. The first thing that you will have to do is to make sure that you have Poetry installed on your machine, either Poetry 1.4 or Poetry 1.6, and provide the necessary configurations in the project.tom file. This is the option that I will be using for setting up my environment. I created the project.tom file inside of the root of my working project and provided the following configurations. I provided some build systems parameters, specifying that I am going to use Poetry Core, 
Then I provided some details about my project, for example, my project name, version, description. The following is the necessary configuration to make sure that we are going to install the Rasa Plus and the URL for where the Rasa Plus will be pulled from. And finally, this is optional, but you can provide any necessary dependencies for your project. Once you have this file and save the changes, you can install Rasa Plus by simply running the command poetry install. The process of installing the dependencies will take anything from a few seconds to a few minutes depending on your operating system. So in the meantime, let's talk about licensing. Rasa Pro will look for a license in the environmental variable called Rasa Pro license. Rasa Pro license is necessary to make sure that you are using the right Rasa Pro version for your project. Rasa Pro comes with a few different licenses. But if you are getting started with building with Calm, you can use Rasa Pro Developer Edition, which provides you a free license that enables you to use Rasa Pro completely for free and take advantage of all of the available features and build your application using Calm locally. To get the Developer Edition license, you simply have to click on Get It Here button on the documentation, which will take you to the page where you can request your Developer Edition license. To do that, you will simply have to provide your email address where your developer edition license for Rasa Pro will be provided. Once you hit submit, you will immediately receive your Rasa Pro developer edition license, which you will be able to use to start building with Calm. You can set your Rasa Pro license as an environmental variable temporarily in your terminal by using the command export Rasa Pro license and providing your license string. But it's highly recommended to set it persistently as well so that it is always available and you don't have to set it up every time you run Rasa Pro. To do that, you can follow up with a provided command. This will write your Rasa Pro license string in your bash profile and will make it available on your system for every time you're using Rasa Pro. Once you have that, the easiest way to get started with building your assistant is running the command rasa init, which will create the project directory for you for your Calm project and even provide a very simple example of an assistant built with Calm that you can either use as an example or even use this example project to start building your own custom assistant. In addition to Rasa in it, you can also get started with using the tutorial that is provided on Rasa Pro documentation. This tutorial contains a little bit more sophisticated assistant that is built for completing tasks like money transfer and others. This example will give you a better understanding of how you can interact with an assistant built with Calm and maybe use this project as the basis of your own custom assistant. In order to follow this tutorial, you will have to set up your OpenAI API key. This will be necessary for your assistant to be able to interact with large language models. So I will show you how to get that set up first, and then we will look into the tutorial as well. First, you will have to get your OpenAI API key. To do that, you will have to navigate to the OpenAI page, log in, and choose the API option on the OpenAI site. Here, on the left-hand side, you will see you have an option to see your API keys. Here, you can hit Create New Secret Key, which will create your new API key. You can provide the name and get your secret key right away. The secret key will then have to be configured as an environmental variable as well by simply exporting this under OpenAI API key variable name. Once you have the OpenAI key set up, you can use the command rasa init and add the flag template tutorial, which will create the project folder for you and let you code along with this tutorial. This template will create an example project for you. It is a fully functioning AI assistant 
that is capable of completing very simple tasks like transferring money and others. Once the setup is complete, you will have the following files available to you. You will see an example of flows, you will see an example of domain, even some custom actions that we will cover a little bit later in the series. Since I installed everything with Poetry, I will add Poetry Run at the beginning of executing the command rasa init and adding the template tutorial flag. And now we can start setting up our example project. So the first thing that I am asked is to provide the path where the project will be created. It can be either current directory or you can provide a name of a new directory. I will create a new directory and I will call it tutorial project. This path doesn't exist right now, so we are going to create a new one. And now Rasa will train the initial model. Once the initial model is trained, it is saved locally and is accessible under specified name. And I can already speak to the train assistant in the command line. And now I can interact with an assistant and test it out in the command line. So I will start the conversation with hello. As the conversation goes, at each step, you will also be able to see what is happening under the hood. For example, here you will see that the component LLM command generator predicted the command chit chat, answer command, and sent a message hello back to the user. So now let's try to initiate the interaction of sending the money. Here, you can see that an assistant interpreted this message and predicted that the next step for an assistant to follow would be starting a flow, transfer money. The first question that an assistant asked me is who I would like to send the money to. I will say that I would like to send money to Tom. Next, an assistant follow up with a question of how much I would like to send. Let's say I would like to send $100. And that's it. An assistant got all of the necessary details and completed the task. You can see that an assistant responded with all done. 100 has been sent to Tom and follow up if there is anything else that I would like to get help with. So this Assistant is a really great start to get some interactions with the assistant to see how things work under the hood, what kind of files you have access to, and so on. I would highly encourage you to spend a little bit more time digging into all of these files that were created as we initiated this tutorial project. You will see that under data directory, you will see the flows.yaml file. We are going to dive into the business logic and flows in one of the upcoming episodes, but you can already see some examples of how flows can be implemented. Here we have an example of implementing a very simple flow of sending the money to the user. You can also check other files like actions.py where you will see how custom actions can be implemented. Once again, we will cover this topic a little bit later in the series in more detail. And you can also have a look at how specific configurations are provided. For example, how we can configure specific policies, how we can configure specific pipelines and so on. You will see more of these details coming up in the next episodes of the series, but it's a really good way to get a taste of how development of new project using Calm looks like. And last but not least, I would like to point out to one of the key files for your assistant is domain.yaml file. This is where you will always specify what kind of details your assistant will need to collect as slots. In our case, that was the recipient name and the amount of money that we would like to send. 
Also, what kind of response templates your assistant should use when asking for specific details? For example, how an assistant should ask who it should send the money to or how much and so on. I would highly encourage you to play around with this assistant a little bit more. Also, you can check out the documentation for a little bit more explanation of how you can understand all of these files a little bit better. And I will see you in the next episode where we are going to cover all of these components in more detail. We are going to talk about flows. We are going to talk about custom actions, the dialogue understanding components, and so much more. So I will see you there. And in the meantime, have fun with playing around with this assistant. Thank you.